All right, imagine not being able to be in your own home for the entire holiday weekend. That's the reality for hundreds of people who live at the Durham Heights apartments in the Heights. Yeah, on Friday, a city inspector posted the property as unlivable. The property hasn't had power and water since the May 16th storm. And today, the people who live here are still trying to figure out where to lay their head tonight. KPRC 2's The Age Golding uncovered this story last week. He hasn't stopped helping the people who call this community home. Gage, show us where things stand now. Yeah, unfortunately, there is no end in sight. This sign, this post that calls this property unlivable, it's still hanging here on the front door of the leasing office. That's bad news. But there is some good news tonight that I want to share. Uh, many of the apartments here have power and air conditioning. But despite that, even if you have a way to stay cool and charge up, you're still not supposed to live here because of that note. So what do you think? Do you think there's power? I don't know. I'm scared. This is the first time Linda Caret has been to her home at the Duran Heights apartment since she was told to leave. The last time she was here, it was sweltering hot. Uh, it's cold. I'm feeling cold. Today, a much different story. It sounds like, yeah, look at that, you got power. I have power. Oh my goodness. She's among the many that have never been so excited to hear their air conditioning running up the bill. Durham Heights has been without reliable power since the May 16th storms. The building's electrical system was badly damaged. People that live here faced with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s inside or to find another place to live. Their landlord emailing them that they could have two nights at a hotel only once this notice was placed on the front door. They sent it uh, almost at midnight, so that wasn't very helpful. I mean, at that point, many people had already found arrangements. While Opal Francis has AC again, she won't be here to enjoy it, and she's not the only one. City hasn't told me I can move back in yet, so I don't want to risk it. Whether it's fixed, habitable now or not, it's kind of a little bit um, too late. By Thursday last week, I had to go ahead and find a place to live. <laughs> Yeah, both the ladies in our story, they are already looking for an alternate place to uh, live. Linda says she already found another place to live. So uh, that's how cumbersome and troublesome this entire situation has been. Can they break their lease, though, right? They have a lease. They have an agreement with this apartment complex. That's the big question a lot of people are asking. Well, I'm taking that question to local housing attorneys to see what the renters' rights are. We're going to get those answers for you coming up in just an hour here, right here on KPRC 2 News. I'm live in the Heights, Gage Golding. KPRC2. All right, so many people still dealing with those power issues. Mm -hmm. My goodness, in this heat. Okay, Gage, we'll see you at six. All right.